Hey everybody, Raven here. Today I want to talk to you about what's going on in the silver market and it's a really nice thing to see, you know, the value of our silver going up. Uh, silver is at $24 right now, you know, plus. And, but I want to talk about what I think is the fear of missing out and what's going on with premiums. And we're going to use Atmex as our main example for today. And so I want to show you the last silver video I said when, you know, you're supposed to, uh, be buying silver now and where they had the spot prices at. Now you see silver is at $22.91 and you could get a 2023 Silver Eagle. They had a $14 premium on that Silver Eagle. And you know that's still kind of steep. Also the uh, Cougarand was you know six almost seven dollars in premium. The Britannia was you know a little bit less but still kind of high. The, the one ounce Britannia BU, which was not the Charles, but the Queen Elizabeth, is at $30.90, which, you know, an $8 premium on that coin was kind of surprising. But, you know, it's just, it is what it is, right? So now we look at the new spot price, and we're at $24.36, which Silver's made a really nice jump in the last, you know, couple weeks. Uh, with a lot of things going on with the uh, banking market and everything. But this is what kind of shocked me when I looked at the prices. You look at the one ounce silver Atmex bar, it's now $30.45. It's The premium's gone up as as well as the uh, spot price. But look at the, the Silver Eagle for 2023. You're at $39.35. So we're talking a $15 premium now versus the $14 premium that was before. Uh, Cougarand is also up. The Philharmonic is up. You know, the, the one ounce Charles, they put it, put a little bit of a price break on it. That's kind of your best deal right now um, as far as spot prices go. But you got to be really careful in where you're buying and what you're spending on your money. Be cognizant of trying to keep your dollar cost average per ounce of silver that you're buying at a price that you're comfortable with, something that you know that you'll be able to re, you know, get some uh, return on your investment. And still, silver's relatively low. I suggest going to local coin shops and uh, doing private party deals as, you know, if you can to try to save on that, especially coin shows is a really good way to get a deal on silver. A lot of the coin shows, you'll see this, the premiums are pretty, pretty low compared to what is going on right now in the current market. But I wanted to hit on that with everybody and talk about it. It is pretty interesting to see the jump. And, uh, you know, right now, while it's still, like I said, relatively low, it'd be a smart thing to uh, get your hands on what you can because there's a lot of people going out there and there's, there's literally some places are having a hard time keeping silver on the shelves because we see this trend happening quite a bit with uh, silver and gold when... There is changes and fluctuations in the market. You see people buying on the high spots, and it's it kind of surprises me. But hey, you know, to each his own. You, you got to do what is good for you and your family as far as what you can invest and what you can afford. But right now, I still think that it is a very solid investment, and you got to think about silver as a long term. Uh, ride, you know, just like the stock market, there's highs and there's lows. Now, here's the thing is silver takes a huge jump, and you've got you're sitting on a nice stockpile. That's the time, just like anybody else would, they would sell it. And then, when the, the, the dip came back into the market, which is inevitable, you would actually re you know reinvest then and get your stack back up as much as you could. Uh, so, like always. Make sure to take care of one another. We'll see you real soon. Raven Hot Coins, have a great day.